Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Have you ever wondered why the value of the US dollar or the euro changes when you travel abroad or follow the news? Currencies don't just stay at fixed values, they fluctuate daily due to a variety of economic forces. In this video, we'll explore why currencies fluctuate in value, the major factors driving these changes, and how these movements impact global trade and economies. Section 1. What is Currency Fluctuation? Currency fluctuation refers to the change in value of one currency relative to another. This change is often represented through exchange rates, which tell us how much of one currency is needed to buy a unit of another. These rates are constantly in flux because of various factors that affect the supply and demand for a particular currency. For example, imagine you're planning a trip to Europe, and today, one US dollar buys you 0.90 euros. However, next month, one US dollar only buys 0.85 euros. This means the US dollar has weakened against the euro, and your trip has just become more expensive because you'll get fewer euros for each dollar. Currency values can rise or fall quickly, and even minor shifts in the exchange rate can have a big impact on individuals, businesses, and entire economies. Section 2. Factors that influence currency fluctuations. There are several key factors that cause currencies to rise and fall in value. Here are three most influential ones. Number 1. Interest rates. Interest rates, set by a country's central bank, are one of the primary drivers of currency value. When a country offers higher interest rates, it attracts foreign investment because investors can earn better returns. This creates more demand for the currency, driving up its value. Conversely, when interest rates fall, there is less incentive for foreign investors to hold that currency, which weakens its value. For example, let's say the US Federal Reserve raises interest rates. Foreign investors see this as an opportunity to earn more on their investments in the US so they buy more US dollars, increasing demand. As a result, the US dollar strengthens against other currencies, making US goods more expensive abroad, but imports cheaper for American consumers. Number 2. Inflation. Inflation refers to the rise in prices of goods and services over time. A country with low inflation typically sees its currency appreciate, because its purchasing power remains stronger compared to countries with higher inflation. On the other hand, high inflation erodes the value of a currency as its purchasing power decreases. For example, consider a scenario where the inflation rate in Mexico is significantly higher than that in Japan. Over time, the Mexican peso may weaken against the Japanese yen because the same amount of pesos buys fewer goods in Mexico than the same amount of yen buys in Japan. Investors are less likely to hold pesos if they expect its purchasing power to decline rapidly. Number 3. Political Stability and Economic Performance Investors prefer to put their money into stable economies with reliable legal systems and healthy growth prospects. When a country experiences political instability, such as elections, civil unrest, or economic crises, its currency tends to lose value as investors look for safer places to invest their money. For example, during the 2016 Brexit referendum in the UK uncertainty surrounding the economic implications of leaving the European Union caused the British pound to plummet. Investors feared that the British economy would suffer, so they pulled their money out of the UK weakening the pound against other major currencies like the US dollar and the euro. Section 3, Supply and Demand Dynamics. Just like any other commodity, currencies are subject to supply and demand. When a currency is in high demand, due to factors like strong exports, high interest rates, or investor confidence, its value rises. Conversely, if there is a surplus of a currency or declining demand, its value falls. For example, the Swiss franc, CHF, is often in high demand during periods of global uncertainty because Switzerland is considered a politically and economically stable country. This stability makes the franc a safe haven currency, attracting investors during crises or market volatility. As a result, the franc tends to appreciate in value when global markets are unstable. Section 4, Global Trade and Currency Movements The balance of trade between countries plays a significant role in currency fluctuations. Countries that export more than they import, resulting in a trade surplus, typically see their currency rise in value because foreign buyers must purchase that country's currency to pay for goods. Conversely, countries with a trade deficit, meaning they import more than they export, often experience a weakening of their currency, as more of their currency is being sold to buy foreign goods. For example, Japan is known for having a trade surplus due to its high level of exports, particularly in cars and electronics. 
This increases demand for the Japanese yen, as international buyers need yen to purchase these goods, often leading to a stronger currency. Section 5, Speculation in the Forex Market The foreign exchange market, or Forex, is the largest financial market in the world, and much of the currency movement is driven by speculation. Traders buy and sell currencies based on their expectations of future changes in value. If they believe a currency will rise, they buy it to sell at a higher price later. If they expect it to fall, they sell it off to avoid losses. This speculative trading can significantly impact short-term fluctuations in currency values. For example, if traders expect the European Central Bank to lower interest rates, they may sell euros in anticipation of the euro weakening. As more traders sell off their euros, the supply increases, driving down the value of the euro relative to other currencies like the US dollar. Section 6, Impact of Currency Fluctuations on the Economy Currency fluctuations can have far-reaching effects on economies. A stronger currency makes imports cheaper, which can be good for consumers but bad for exporters whose goods become more expensive for foreign buyers. Conversely, a weaker currency can boost exports by making them cheaper, but it can lead to higher prices for imported goods, potentially fueling inflation. For example, in 2014, the value of the US dollar strengthened considerably against many other currencies. This was great news for American tourists traveling abroad, as their dollars could buy more foreign currency. However, US exporters like manufacturers and farmers found it harder to compete globally because their goods became more expensive for foreign buyers. Section 7, Conclusion To wrap up, currency values fluctuate based on a variety of factors, including interest rates, inflation, political stability, and trade dynamics. These fluctuations are crucial in determining global trade, investment, and the economic well-being of nations. Whether you're traveling abroad, buying imported goods, or investing, currency movements play a pivotal role in shaping our financial decisions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more insights into economics and finance. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.